headed to Medellin, Colombia, maybe you'll get the feel what an earthquake feels like. Follow along. You're watching DC Born Rob, Racing Borders. And now, the news. Okay, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever it is you're located. Thanks for watching. My name is Rob Christian, also known as DC Born Rob or DC Rob. This is just a quick one. I'm doing this one on my lunch break because I wanted you to know that there may be an earthquake while you're there. There was one last night. There was one last week. There's one almost every day somewhere in Colombia. I think it has to do with the uh, volcano, the Ruiz uh, volcano. Uh, but anyway, I want to ha have a quick story on what happened last night and the fact that it's not going to turn into a tsunami. It was actually off of the coast of Panama and Colombia, right where the two meet. That was the epicenter anyway, but it was felt obviously throughout the country and throughout uh, Panama as well. But maybe you'll get the feel it. I don't report it that much, but almost every, at least every two days, there's another story of about some sort of tremor or aftershock or earthquake itself. Uh, but anyway, here's a quick story for you. And then after that one, I'm just gonna jump into the second one, uh, which goes over uh, an app that can let you know the severity, things you should do, and to be proactive. Anyway, check this out. A tremendous scare was caused by a strong tremor with its epicenter located in the Gulf of Uraba, shaking multiple regions of Colombia. According to the final report from the Colombian Geological Service, the epicenter of the movement was recorded in the Gulf of Uraba. The National Unit for Disaster Risk Management has assured that there is no threat of a tsunami. On the night of Wednesday, May 24th, an earthquake measuring 6.6 .6 on the Richter scale was recorded. The Colombian Geological Service reported that the earthquake had a shallow depth of less than 10 kilometers. The tremor was so intense that the National Unit for Disaster Risk Management, referring to Dimmer, Colombia, stated that there is no tsunami threat to the country. A preliminary report initially indicated that the earthquake had a magnitude of 6.9. However, an updated report from the Colombian Geological Service confirmed that the magnitude of the tremor registered on the border between Colombia and Panama was 6.6. .6. The movement was followed by three other tremors measuring 4.6, 3.6, and 3.1 in magnitude, also occurring in the Caribbean Sea. The impact was felt most strongly in the municipalities of Akandi and Choco, and Nikokli and Arbolitz in Urava, Antioquia, which are the closest towns to the epicenter. Nevertheless, social media users reported feeling the earthquake in other departments such as Cordoba, Santander, North de Santander, Cundinamarca, Risaralda, as well as Antioquia and Choco. Within the last five days, the Geological Service has registered 110 earthquakes with a magnitude equal to or greater than 2.0. The Administrative Department of Disaster Risk Management and the Official Fire Department of Medellin have reported no incidents related to the earthquake so far. According to risk management information, Nekokli did not suffer any damages or affectations to its buildings. Cesar Zuniga from Nekokli Risk Management stated, in the three follow-up reports we conducted, we did not record any damage, but the earthquake was strongly felt for a long time. Okay, so there you go. Uh, but again, I wanted to show you uh, this app. The, well, Google has a way of tracking the earthquakes and the severity and to give you some ideas as to what you can do, almost like the SNAP program. Give you a heads up. Okay, check this story out. Here's how you can install the Google alert that anticipated the tremor in Colombia seconds before it occurred. The alert provides information about the magnitude of the earthquake and offers recommendations on how to respond during the seismic event. In addition to the nervousness and panic experienced in some regions of the country following the strong earthquake measuring 5.9 on the Richter scale, with its epicenter in Los Santos, Santander, many people were surprised to receive an alert from Google on their cell phones predicting the earthquake. The alert, which was sent to Android devices, predicted an earthquake with a magnitude of 5.8, very close to the report of 5.9 provided by the Colombian Geological Service a few minutes later. Along with the earthquake alert, Google also provided a set of recommendations on how to act during the natural phenomenon. One of the recommendations stated, stay away from damaged buildings. Check for cracks or signs of damage. Evacuate the building if you believe it may collapse. Google explains that the Android Earthquake Alert System is a free service that detects earthquakes worldwide and can notify Android users before the shaking starts. But how does it work? The tech giant utilizes the Shake Alert System, which consists of a network of 1,675 seismic sensors to detect earthquake tremors. The app analyzes data from these sensors to determine the location and magnitude of the earthquake. 
with this information, it sends alerts to users who have activated the service on their mobile devices. However, experts have emphasized that it is not possible to predict an earthquake with certainty. If you own an Android phone and haven't enabled earthquake notifications yet, here's how you can do it. Open the phone settings, go to security and emergency and then earthquake alerts. If you can't find security and emergency, go to location and then advance to activate earthquake alerts. Follow the same steps to deactivate the option. The alert is not currently available for iPhones or other devices running the iOS operating system. Apple has tested its own government and emergency alert system for iPhones in the United States, Puerto Rico, Spain, Japan, and other countries, but it is not yet available in Colombia. There you go. So thanks for watching. Remember, join our private group. Again, Luis is jamming the stories out on that one. I get a lot of leads from Luis, just so you know. I have others like you guys who are actually out there who are sending me this information. I know you're headed down to Colombia probably this weekend. I know some people went yesterday, today, a bunch of you guys are going today and tomorrow. Actually, I was going to go down, but unfortunately, I slipped up and mentioned it on a TaylorMade Dream show the other night. Uh, so I don't go. It's just one of my safety things. I don't announce when I'm going to go and I don't announce where I'm staying when I'm there and not until I'm gone. Uh, anyway, so I decided to go to Guatemala. I'm on my flight Saturday. I'll be there for a week, so I'll get to work from there and enjoy the volcanoes. And I'll probably climb the same volcano I did before. Anyway, make sure you travel, but travel safe. Headed to Medellin, Colombia. See my guy Andres with Nomad Travel for safe airport pickups and drop-offs and tours. Contact information in the description below. If you're in Medellin and you need dental work done, from a basic cleaning to major reconstructive surgery, Come see my guy, Dr. Carlos Mori. Contact information in the description below. Join me on social media. I am DC Born Rob Official on Instagram. I am DC Born Rob Official One on TikTok. I am DC Born Rob O on Twitter. Don't be like this guy right here. You're, you're just so stupid. I had to send you a video to let you know you're so stupid. That's right. Don't be like this guy right here. Join me on social media. Dating in Colombia can be confusing for foreign men. Plus, dating in Colombia can be outright dangerous. With Chica Check, you can date with confidence by screening your date first for past issues. Visit ChicaCheck.co and create your free account today.